In today's gospel, we have the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel was sent to uh, Nazareth to um, to Mary, and he uh, states that um, that she's going to become pregnant. Um, she said, how can this be? Since I have no relations with a man, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And Elizabeth, your relative, has conceived a child in her old age. This is the sixth month for her who was called barren. You know, one of the things about it was that um, Father Francis Martin, who's, uh, who was a priest of the Archdiocese of Washington before his passing a few years back, um, he had an interesting thought, is that the thought of the Messiah for the people would have been that, that God would send the Messiah, the Messiah would come, they would teach the people the Torah, they would then go out and proclaim the message of the nations, they would proclaim the message of the Torah and bring many people uh, back into Israel. So just like Israel being that light of the nations that we envisioned God having back in the time of King David, King Solomon. Remember when, when the traders were coming down into Israel and to getting into Egypt, uh, and they would see the beauty, the wonder, the glory of God. And then so they would, they would um, want to know more about God, uh, being that light of the nations. But we also think about the Messiah being um, two things. We think about the Messiah being the conquering king, and the hero king, just like King David, in the line of King David, what do we think of with King David? We think of someone who um, took out the the Philistines, all the uh, the people uh, that were causing Israel trouble throughout the past, you know, several hundred years during the the time of the judges. Um, threw them all out, uh, conquered, brought the kingdom, established the kingdom all the way up um, into the into um, what is modern day. Uh, the edge of Iraq. Um, so we think about that. But when then we also think about the suffering servant uh, in the prophet Isaiah. It talks about the king uh, being that suffering servant, the one who would suffer for the people. And when it comes to which one do the people want, do they want the, the triumphal king or do they want the suffering servant? Um, the, the triumphal king wins out every time. And so that's one of the things is that well, even though the people certainly were looking for the Messiah, even though they certainly uh, desired the Messiah, even though they certainly wanted the Messiah, and that's one of the beauties of that religion is that, you know, we think about how many hundreds of years, you know, 700 years since the prophecy to King Ahaz, um, that the uh, that the virgin shall give birth and uh, shall name him Emmanuel. Um, you know, we think about that. We think about how many people would, would give up after a year. But they were still looking after 700 years. In fact, there was a great fervor there. Uh, but again, who are they looking for? Were they looking for the one who was the triumphal warrior king hero? Were they, were they looking for that? And that kind of won out. Um, in their looking for it. So even though they were looking for it, they were not expecting um, the Messiah that they got. The other one is that just like with, um, with Samuel, Samuel, um, God had um, rejected King Saul. So Samuel goes and he goes to the house of Jesse. Um, he goes looking for to someone to anoint, uh, the, the son of Jesse to anoint. He's looking at the Saul lookalikes, the Sauls who were, you know, the charismatic, the the uh, the uh, vibrant, the, um, the, um, the 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 uh, king with great stature and great uh, charisma. Uh, so he's looking at the sons of Jesse, and he was saying, "Oh, it has to be around here because they were all kind of like King Saul lookalikes." But the one he didn't expect was was the. Um, was King David, the one who was out in the field, the young one who was out in the field tending the sheep. I think the same could be said with the people of Israel. Certainly they were expecting the Messiah, but were they expecting the Messiah to be born of the Virgin Mary? Were they expecting it in the loneliness of, um, to, of uh, Nazareth to have the expectation um, of that something great would come about um, in Nazareth? And so it's all these kind of things that you see, these kind of things that are circulating about 
Um, but the time is now come, and the time is now here, where the Lord will certainly uh, change the way things are. He will certainly uh, change uh, society in a way that's unexpected. Um, but we think about that when we think about the last Sunday of Advent, all that time of preparation, all the time that has gone into preparing the people for the coming of the Messiah is now here, and the Messiah is indeed going to be in their midst. Thanks, and God bless.